This video is the first in a series of videos looking at how you set up Google Wi-Fi. Google Wi-Fi is a wireless series of interconnected nodes, with each node able not only to send data wirelessly, but also relay data from other nodes. This forms a wireless mesh that blankets your home in Wi-Fi signal to ensure that you have no dead zones. Once you have created a mesh network, if you need to expand your wireless coverage, you simply add another node to the network. Unlike using a Wi-Fi extender, the data throughput on a mesh network will not be reduced. However, while Google Wi-Fi is one of the cheaper mesh networking options on the market, as installing a mesh network is still very expensive, you would only really consider installing Google Wi-Fi if the signal from your current wireless router does not cover the whole of your home and the router cannot be moved to a more central location. So with all of this in mind, let's take a look at one of the nodes that will be making up part of our Google Wi-Fi mesh network. A Google Wi-Fi node consists of a power supply and the node itself. The node is a relatively small cylindrical unit with an indicator light running around the outer part of the cylinder. On the rear of the node we have a reset switch and on the underside we have a QR code to simplify setup. This is alongside the more traditional setup network name and setup password option. Underneath the setup details we have the device's MAC address and serial number along with coloured indicators for the unit's three ports. The three ports consist of a USB-C port that supplies the node with power a wide area network port that connects the unit to your broadband modem and a single local area network port to daisy chain nodes via network cables. The basic setup for a Google Wi-Fi mesh network will look something like this. At the moment we have a single node connected to our fibre broadband connection, which is a BT OpenReach VDSL modem. The two units are connected together via the supplied network cable. One end of the network cable is connected to the LAN port of the modem, with the other end connected to the WAN port of the Google Wi-Fi node. You can see that the USB-C power cable is connected to the node, so we're ready for the next stage which will be to configure this node to our broadband connection.